From one CAA co-champion to another as we bring in Danny Rocco of the Richmond Spiders. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thanks. All right. Well, you're at Media Day 2013. You go back to 2012 and you get the preseason polls and the predictions. And, and based on those, uh, last year you, you surpassed expectations in 2012. Talk to me and, and evaluate your first season at Richmond. Well, we had an opportunity to do something that you really don't get to do very often. We went from last to first. Um, so obviously a, a lot of things had to go our way. Uh, I think that we were able to offer a vision for what we wanted to get done in our first year. Uh, you have to have an element of talent on an element of leadership in place. So um, I, I was really impressed with my senior leadership a year ago. Uh, they were very committed to the program. Uh, they bought into what we were telling them in terms of uh, how we had to play and what we had to do to be successful. So, um, But a year ago at this time, uh, there were a lot of unknowns. I really had a lot of question marks about my, my football team, about my kids, how they would perform, et cetera. So this year I, I have a lot more, a lot better understanding as to who we are and what I think we're capable of doing. And I'm very excited about how we've positioned ourselves for our, our second season together. Well, let me ask you then, what do you think you're capable of doing in 2013 as the bar has been raised a bit for year number two? Yeah, I think the, the thing you're always looking to do is uh, to make improvement. And uh, I believe in continual improvement, constant improvement. And this isn't just a message that I share with my team, but it's a message that I take personal. Uh, so I, I do expect to see improvement in a number of different areas uh, within our program, uh, within our organization. You'd like to think that those improvements show themselves in an improved record. doesn't always play out that way. But uh, a year ago, we did not start real well. There were a number of different factors that went into that, starting a new mm -hmm. confidence. Um, I, I'm hopeful that this year, being our second year, we can get off to a faster start, uh, position ourselves a little better earlier in the season. Uh, the most impressive thing for me last year was how we finished the season. Our team got better every week. Uh, we won our last four football games, and at the end of the year, we're really playing. It was really playing good football. Yeah, you've got some momentum, and quarterback Michael Strauss was a, a big part of the winning the final four games of the year. He returns, uh, coming in and becoming a starter late in the season, and he's got a, his favorite target to throw to the CAA's leader in reception with 80 a season ago. Ben Edwards is back. You've got to be excited about that offense. Yeah, I'm excited about the weapons that we have, uh, in particular in the passing game. Um, we lost a lot of uh, yardage uh, in, from the backfield. So we're still working through the rotation of how we're going to run the ball, who's going to run the ball for us. But as far as our receiving core and, and Mike Strauss's ability to distribute the football, I feel like we got some real uh, upside, uh, should be explosive, uh, and we have a lot of depth at the receiver position. Uh, ben Edwards is a dynamic player. He's an All-American caliber player. Uh, can do a little bit of anything and everything uh, from run the ball, catch the ball, uh, possession receiver, catch and run receiver, deep threat. He can return punts, he can kick extra points, he can punt. Uh, he can do a lot of different things. Uh, Stephen Barnett uh, is another very talented wide receiver. Reggie Diggs um, got a transfer, Shane Savage, who came in from Cornell. So that receiving core, I think, is going to be uh, one of the better receiving cores in the country, and we're going to have to take advantage of that. We're going to switch over and talk about the defense to wrap this up. It's never easy to replace an NFL draft pick. You have to do that uh, with replacing Cooper Taylor, but it helps that your entire defensive line is back and you have a stud in Evan Kelly on your squad. Talk about the D. Yeah, well, you hit it correct. I mean, uh, Cooper Taylor is a great player, and he was a great leader for us, and you really don't replace a player like that. Uh, but this year, it really does start with our defensive line. Uh, we've got four guys that are very established. Um, <clears throat> Evan Kelly, Kerry Wynn, <clears throat> both have had all-conference acclaim. Jacob Pierce, B.J. Scott, seniors that have played a lot of football for us. Uh, but our, our second group is also very good. So we have some depth there, which will allow us to do some rotation. So uh, I'm excited about that component right there. 
Um, I think on the back end, we're going to have to do it with uh, a variety of depth and substitution. Uh, but I feel confident that our defense can offer us uh, the type of production we're going to have to have to be a real contender here in this league this year. Well, a lot to be excited about in Richmond, Virginia. Thanks so much for joining us. Best of luck this season. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.